Hi everybody, it's Nicola here today and we have a six month Birchbox subscription review for you. Some sad news, I'm no longer a Birchbox subscriber. I'm sorry but the month of May just, I, I just, I couldn't justify the £10 a month plus £2.95 uh, postage and uh, packaging. Uh, which is how much the birch box is if you want to subscribe um, I just couldn't justify it anymore with the products that I was receiving so I thought what a great opportunity for me to do a six month review because that's how long I was actually subscribed to birch box for okay so uh, I will start um, right back at the beginning which was in December 2016 with the merry and bright box um, the first product, I'm going to go real quick through this, otherwise it's going to be a really long video. The first product that I received was the Ciate Fierce Flix Eyeliner, um, Liquid Eyeliner. Now, this is a great product, unfortunately for me, as a newbie, um, oh, my leg's hurting. As a newbie to makeup, I just cannot get on with liquid eyeliner. So, the only thing this is good for is my daughter. Uh, drawing cat whiskers on her face. She loves it. Uh, the next product um, I received was this uh, Benny Tint from Be uh, from Benefit. Uh, this is a, just a sample size and I know this looks like I've used an awful lot on it. That's because I put it in my use it or lose it because I didn't know what else to do with it. So I put this on before bedtime. I don't know why because it's not useful for any other time I don't think. Um, so yeah, um, I wasn't too keen on that. The next product I received <coughs> was this Elemis Hydro Boost Day Cream. I love this stuff. Um, this is not the original one that I received. This is one that I bought from somebody on um, a Facebook beauty swap page. I bought it because I love this so much and I cannot justify the £39 which is how much it costs full size. Somebody was selling their sample size so I bought it off them and I'm going to keep this for when I go away on honeymoon because I'm told you can get quite dry skin when you're uh, travelling so this will be great for um, making sure I have nice skin while I'm away. The next item I no longer have so I'll just show you the picture I hope you can see is the Percy and Reed um, Perfectly Perfecting Wonder Balm. This was like a hair cream that you put into your hair before you blow dry and it gives your hair lots of volume. For someone with fine, thin hair, this product was amazing. It was absolutely brilliant. If I saw it again and it says recommended retail price of £18, I wouldn't buy it for £18, but if I saw it on offer or somebody else was selling their sample of it, then I would definitely purchase that because it did give me a lot of volume. And the next item was the anatomical smooth bottle of coconuts body lotion. Now I used up all of my sample and then I used my birch box points to buy that product again. This is the full size, however. We got a sample which was about sort of this size here. Um, this is the full size and I love this stuff. This smells so nice. You actually want to put this on. How many of us have got so many body lotions that we've received for Christmas or birthdays and we've never used them? You would use this. It smells delicious. Really, really nice. Um, and so those were the five products that I received in December's Birch Box. It was a massive hit with me in December. Loved it. In January, we had the Sprinkle Happiness Box. Um, by the way, I don't have any of the boxes to show you. Part of the best bit about Birchbox is the box itself. Um, they're generally like a drawer box, so it looks like a drawer, which is great for storing your makeup in if you don't have much storage. Um, and they come in different patterns according to their theme every month. Um, and that's really, really good. But um, that's one thing I do like about Birchbox. Um, so I will miss getting those every month. Okay, so the first product um, on the list for January was the Lord & Berry Conceal It Crayon. Didn't think much to this. Um, it's not very... 
the colour is beige and as you can see it's kind of orange um, so wasn't too impressed the next product I haven't got because I sold it to lightning Lass, or I did a swap I think um, was the Nux shimmer oil I hated that um, I didn't know what to do with it so I watched a few videos and uh, somebody said oh rub it onto your shoulders in the summer and it'll sparkle in the sunshine so I did I rubbed a bit on my shoulders and then I looked and there was no shimmer on my shoulders and then I looked down at my hands and all the shimmer was there I looked like I had the Midas touch um, so I had all the shimmer there nothing there and I hated it so I swapped it the next product I got in January was the Mercy hand cream I actually got the pink one it smells gorgeous um, I've actually repurchased uh, the cherry one which is the red one and my mother-in-law gave me one really love that product um, can't show you it because it's downstairs the next product I can't show you again because I've used it all up it was the Batiste hairspray um, XXL volume spray it was a good hairspray kept my hair in place smelled okay um, was just a hairspray really and the next product I've actually decanted what I had left into this tub and it was the um, there it is in that tub it was the Basanti um, exfoliator now the problem with this was it was really harsh on my skin um, I have dry sensitive skin and it literally felt like I was rubbing uh, sand into my face very harsh left my face very red um, I just I that's why I've still got some of it left even though I received that box in January because um, and I do like to exfoliate regularly but it was just too harsh on my skin okay the next box uh, was a collaboration with Papier and they'll sometimes do this and they'll either give you 10% off a coupon code sometimes you can buy extras to go in your birch box so with this one you were able to add um, a notebook to your birch box for the month um, but the notebook was eight pounds so I love notebooks but I'm not spending eight pound on one so oh, my legs are killing me sorry so yeah uh, sometimes you can do that so the first product in here was the spectrum brush which I loved so much I went out and bought another brush from them the next thing we got was this Pop Beauty eyeshadow trio. These are not very good quality. They're kind of bumpy in the pan. Um, the darkest shade, this one here, I seem to have in quite a few other palettes. Oh. Didn't even swatch very well. So there's the swatches. It's not great quality so they're in my collection I just don't reach for them very often clean my hands the next item I haven't got to show you because I threw it out it was the wish shaving cream all I can say is smells like baby sick do I need to say more the next product is beaver professional heat spray this was the first heat spray I got in my birch box it made my hair crunchy um, people kept saying massage it in massage it in I massaged it in it was still blooming crunchy um, hated it so I threw it out even when there was half of it left and the final product um, again you probably won't be able to see it I got a Kiyom face mask from Korea um, it was the first tissue mask I'd ever tried and having something that close to my face I actually got claustrophobic and the perfume scent of it actually caught my breath and, and and quite affected my asthma so that wasn't very much of a hit. In March we went back to basics and we went back to um, the original birch box um, so uh, which was, they've been going for six years did you know so yeah um, the first product we got in that box was actually one of my favourites. It was the Double the Lip 
uh, lipstick from Benefit. This was obviously a sample size and it's one of those where you have the liner and the lipstick all in one. Really, really like this. This is in the shade Pink Thrills. Really enjoy using that. I use that quite regularly. The next item we got was a Balance Me uh, Primer. I hated this. I tried it with every one of my foundations and it didn't work with any of them. And I have a range of L'Oreal, Collection, um, I even tried it with some uh, Clinique Beyond Perfection um, and with some Urban Decay as well, samples that I had. It didn't work with any of them so and it stunk. It stunk real bad. The next item was this Cause Shower Gel and this smells really nice, really fruity but it's a shower gel so I can't really say much about that. The next product was my second heat styling spray from Birchbox and this is March so in what four months I got two heat styling sprays. Um, not much of this left, um, this was okay, doesn't make my hair crunchy, doesn't make my hair smell bad, it was okay actually, it was it was okay but I, I don't use heat styling sprays, I'm barely two minutes with the um, hair dryer. The next product I no longer have but I absolutely loved, it was the Marcel Eye Makeup Remover, it just melted away your eyeshadow and your mascara in just a couple of swipes no rubbing you didn't need to rub your eyes um, left your eyes feeling very smooth very moisturized um, was really really nice and if I do see that again I would probably repurchase the April box was in collaboration with Bowden we received a 10% off voucher for Bowden um, however, Bowden don't really cater towards larger lady, ladies and it wasn't really my style so I ended up giving that voucher code away. Now, the first product in my April's Birch Box was the Manakadar um, Setting Powder. I hummed and, 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 and screamed about this product when I first received it but the truth is, out of all the products I've received in Birch Box, this is the one thing, apart from the Spectrum brush, this is the one product I use every single day. Now it's just too small to use as a face setting powder but it is amazing for setting under my eyes. Perfect. Um, I've made such a dent in this already. I love it. I don't know what I'm going to do when it runs out. I hope somebody else is selling theirs because I need to repurchase this damn quick um, for when I run out. So. This is the only Birchbox product that I use every single day without fail and it was the one product I shouted and screamed out about because of the size of it, you know. And this is supposed to be full size and it's a setting powder. Um, the next item, if the Manakadar powder is my favourite product, this has to be one of the worst. It is the Model Co Black Eyeliner Pencil. So that's two eyeliner pencils in six months or four months five months by this point. It broke the first time I tried using it and when I tried to use it the second time it all ended up congealing into the corner of my eyes and then streaking down my face. It looked like I had black tears when I used this. Not happy with that at all. That can go in the bin. Hate it completely. The next item was another Love uh, product. This is the Polar Eye Scrub. This is an exfoliator and a moisturiser in one. This is not too harsh for me. Unlike the Vasanti which I received in December's Birchbox, this is much softer but it, it still does its job. It makes my skin feel very clean, um, like takes all the dead skin cells away, makes your skin feel very clean, very fresh, but leaves it feeling soft and really smooth and I just love it however the only place I found this available is either through Birchbox or on a French website and although I did French GCSE 
I can't understand a word it says on that website so no good the next product was this um, Lucetta Beauty uh, Keratin Smooth Conditioner I haven't got that product because I used it all up it made my hair feel soft it made my hair feel smooth and I really enjoyed it and I will look out for it um, I have seen it in TK Maxx so I might pick that up sometime in the future but I'm in no rush to get it it was just a nice conditioner the next product is the Baja Cream and I didn't like this this was really thick really like gloopy uh, made my hands feel really dry when I applied it and it smells really really strong I can smell it from here uh, really really strong so couldn't put this on before bed because it was just too pungent for me to try and fall asleep next to. So that was April's birch box. Last but yeah it was last and least. Uh, this was May's birch box and this was the start of the benefits, the birch box benefits. And as I said in my last review for this box the only people I can see benefiting from Birchbox benefits is Birchbox itself. Don't see how we we get anything better than what we got before. So I was already mad at Birchbox for trying to make out like it was customer request that we get rid of the review points. Um, uh, that was we didn't request that. Why would we request for you to take a benefit away from us? It doesn't make sense. I hated that and so I thought I'd give them another chance I will give it, see what the box is like I got the box so the first product I received was this mask eyeshadow this is in vanilla frosting it's it's a nice eyeshadow the only problem is it's one of those powder okay I've got that everywhere now and that's why I don't like it that's why I don't use it very often because I'm such a messy bugger I drop it everywhere so that was the eyeshadow. I'm not going to swatch well, I could swatch it. Might as well. It's on. So that's a swatch. It's blinding. It's a really nice colour. But it's such a mess to use. I don't find myself reaching for it. Um, the next product is a um, mascara. Once this is on, it is an, a, an amazing mascara. But you get a big gloop of the product at the end of the brush and the brush is huge it scares the living daylights out, out of me every time I put this near my eye but once on your eye this is a great mascara I do like it um, I just don't like the brush um, size and I don't like the gloopiness of the product um, so that's that the next product I received my third heat styling spray this one, the best thing about this is it smells nice. It smells of like vanilla. Um, I think that's what it smells of. My husband thought it was a perfume. And I was like, no, it's a heat styling spray. Um, made my hair feel a little crunchy. I suppose I should have worked it in a little bit more, but I really wasn't too fussed. I didn't want another heat styling spray. I don't use them. And they, this was the third heat styling spray in six months. <coughs> it annoyed me so much the next product I'm actually gonna leave that one to last actually the next product I received was this wish firming cream now considering how much I hated the wish shaving cream this doesn't smell that great in all honesty I haven't used this I haven't even used it so I couldn't tell you whether this was a great product or not I don't know whether it's going to firm up my skin or not got a lot of work to do if it does um i was just so put off by the box by birch box um by the, the shaving cream previously i just haven't bothered even to even try that product in all honesty so can't give it a good review or a bad review because i haven't used it and then the final product of all which was basically the bullet in the head for birch box from me water in a can water in a spray can this is what Birchbox wants to spend my money on 
sending me water in a can. No birch box. No. Don't waste people's money like this. And then to tell me in recommended retail price that full size it's worth £16. No birch box. It's not. It's water in a can. I had to cancel. Um, so yeah, that is my six month review of Birchbox at the beginning. It was amazing. Every single product I liked, every single one of them, even the one that I couldn't actually use because my technique at the time, and still today, I still can't use liquid eyeliner, it wasn't good enough. But I still liked every single product. But by the end, not one single product could I, could I really say I loved or liked. I mean, the mascara was was an okay product. It was great once it was on, but I hated applying it. Um, so that is my six month review. You can take from that what you want. Whether the products, the range of products that I received were good enough for yourself. Whether you would want to subscribe or not. I personally have cancelled my subscription. I'm looking at other beauty boxes to subscribe to. I have actually um, going to subscribe to Glitterbox, so keep an eye open for that video if I haven't already posted that video for this month up already. So yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think about Birchbox for the last six months and whether you currently subscribe or you have um, unsubscribed in the last few months and why and I will see you on my next video. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Bye!